What if the monkeypox virus can't be contained? Well, here we go again, folks. Another deadly virus at large and making the rounds through the community. Not really how we wanted 2022 to go, but here we are. Monkeypox is just the latest virus to take to the spotlight in the media and is currently getting thrown on the front pages of all the tabloids talking about how dangerous it could potentially be. In the last video I did about monkeypox on this channel, we looked at the possibility of it becoming the next pandemic. Now we're going to take a look at how serious that could become if it gets to a position where it can't be contained. Now before we dive too deep into this video, let's get everybody up to speed on what monkeypox actually is and the signs and symptoms of it. CDC wrote a great passage explaining monkeypox that I quoted in the last video and I'm going to do that again here. Monkeypox is a rare disease that is caused by infection with the monkeypox virus. Monkeypox virus belongs to the orthopox virus genus in the family Poxvirida. The orthopox virus genus also includes Varola virus, Vaccinia virus, and cowpox virus. Monkeypox was first discovered in 1958 when two outbreaks of a pox-like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research, hence the name monkeypox. The first human case of monkeypox was recorded in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo during a period of intensified effort to eliminate smallpox. Since then, monkeypox has been reported in people in several other Central and Western African countries, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Gabon, Liberia, Nigeria, Republic of the Congo, and Sierra Leone. The majority of infections are in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. So that's kind of the breakdown to what monkeypox is and where it came from. CNN goes on to write about the symptoms of this virus where they say, there is an incubation period of some seven to 14 days, the CDC said. Initial symptoms are typically flu-like, such as fever, chills, exhaustion, headache, and muscle weakness, followed by swelling in the lymph nodes, which help the body fight infection and disease. A feature that distinguishes infection with monkeypox from that of smallpox is the development of swollen lymph nodes, the CDC said. Next comes a widespread rash on the face and body, including inside the mouth and on the palms of the hands and soles of the feet. The painful raised pox are pearly and fluid filled, often surrounded by red circles. The lesions finally scab over and resolve over a period of two to three weeks, the CDC said. Treatment is generally supportive as there are no specific drugs available. However, a vaccine is available that can be given to prevent the development of disease. Jimmy Whitworth, professor of international public health at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine said in a statement. Now, maybe the scariest part about this virus is that in Africa, over the years that it's been active there, roughly one in 10 people die from catching this. That is way higher than the death rate of COVID-19. Now, these are rough statistics and nobody knows how the fatality rate will differ in other countries, but it's clearly pretty bad. Everyone is very worried about this virus right now because it seems to be expanding pretty quickly. Over the decades that it's been around, it's occasionally left Africa, but then been stamped out really fast. Now, in the last couple of weeks, it suddenly popped up in the US, Canada, Spain, the UK, and other countries around the world. In the past, it may enter one country with one person and then die out really quickly. So this is the first time that it's ever entered multiple countries all at the same time with multiple people catching it. So with all of this being considered, what if the virus can't be contained? Well, if it can't be contained, then get ready for some good old fashioned COVID-19 lockdown, folks. If the fatality rate of one in 10 holds, then you can bet your bottom dollar that we aren't gonna be going anywhere or doing anything for a while until the virus dies down. Now here's the good thing in this situation. Monkeypox isn't nearly as transmissible as COVID-19 is. COVID is really easy to catch. You can be standing on a bus wearing a mask, having been vaccinated already and still get the virus. Monkeypox isn't nearly as easy to catch though, which is a big positive when it comes to containment. One factor of why it isn't as easy to catch is because the virus isn't actually contagious until somebody shows symptoms. COVID-19, that can be caught from somebody who feels totally fine. In fact, some people catch the virus and never develop any symptoms at all. They are, however, still contagious when they have it. 
Monkeypox, though, will show symptoms, and it's only when the virus shows symptoms that it can be passed on to other people. This is a big positive for us because it means that we can self-diagnose a lot easier and then stay away from other people if we think that we have it. It's also way easier to self-diagnose because the symptoms of monkeypox are so unique. COVID-19, the symptoms there, if mild, could just be a common cold. Monkeypox, though, isn't even close to being a common cold. You literally develop a painful and itchy rash all over your body that looks like you have a bunch of pox everywhere. That's how it got its name, actually. It started in monkeys, and it looks like the monkeys had a bunch of dots on them. So luckily for us, it would be harder for this virus to get out of containment. But if it did, then like I said before, trouble will loom. I imagine that things will be very similar to how they were in the early days of COVID. Everything's getting locked down. Only essential services are going to be running. And you better believe vaccines are going to be coming. Now, lucky for us, monkeypox already has a vaccine. Because it's been around for so long, there's already one that's been proven to be successful. So we wouldn't have to wait a year for scientists to figure out how to make one, we just need to mass produce the one that we already have. Speaking of vaccines, Canada is already in talks of rolling one out for smallpox. Because monkeypox and smallpox are very related, it should have the same effect and protect us against it. So if monkeypox can't be contained, expect a big lockdown hit and an immediate roll of vaccines to everybody who's willing to take one. In all honesty though guys, I have faith that we aren't going to get hit with another crazy pandemic. I feel like everybody is on high alert and just won't allow it to happen. COVID had the element of surprise sprinkled in, which allowed it to run rampant. There is no surprise with monkeypox. Governments and doctors should be at the ready, and with a vaccine already made, I think we'll be prepared if it continues to affect those around us. But please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this question. What do you think would happen if monkeypox were to get loose and couldn't be contained? Hopefully this question can remain theoretical and never needs to become a reality. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I will catch you next time.